Hey, this is video problem number seven on specific heat capacity, so let's go ahead and get started. A 27 gram sample of titanium, so there's your mass. Has a specific heat capacity of that titanium. And it's at room temperature, so the temperature initial is 25 degrees Celsius. It absorbs 250 joules of energy, so Q is equal to positive 250 joules. Determine the final temperature of the titanium metal, so T final. I'm going to use Q is equal to M shot, and SH delta T. And what we're looking for here is really is delta T, and then I'll use that to get my final temperature. So. There you go. It's plug and chug. We got 250 joules. The mass, 27 grams. Specific heat capacity, 0.523. In your calculator, 250 divided by the product of 27 and 0.523 so I get 17.70 that's my delta T you should probably only have three sig figs so let's go right there but I want to know the actual final temperature so delta T is equal to temperature final minus temperature initial So 17.7 is equal to temperature final minus 25. So I'm going to add 25 to both sides. 42.7. So there's the final temperature. Let's look at the next one. The same titanium metal, again at room temperature, loses 2500 joules of energy. Determine the final temperature of the metal. So it's the same mass, 27 grams, same specific heat capacity, 0.523, same initial temperature, and now my Q, I have lost 2,500 joules of energy. Again, I'm looking for the final temperature, but I'm going to use delta T. My Q is negative 2500. My mass is 27. Specific capacity 0.523. Put that into your calculator. So we get a drop of 177 degrees Celsius. But again, I'm looking for the final temperature, so delta T is equal to T final minus T initial. Uh, negative 177. So I'm going to add 25 to both sides. I get a value of negative 152 degrees Celsius is the final temperature.